Hello and welcome to Earth Unplugged. Today I've got another brilliant cheap shot challenge, this time to get a bird's eye view. And that means making a drone for less than 50 quid. That's looking pretty cool. And if you've got some brilliant aerial shots of your own that you've shot safely and legally, we'd love to see them, so do share them on Earth Capture. We'll put a link at the end of the film. So my ambitious plan is to send my camera up into the air attached to helium balloons to take a photograph of the world famous Clifton Suspension Bridge. Now I know helium balloons aren't technically drones, but it's a quick and safe way to achieve just the same thing. But before I'm ready for takeoff, I've got to find out if it all comes crashing down, whether my camera is going to be all right. So to protect my camera phone when it's way up there, I've built a little drop cage. Uh, as you can probably tell, it's made out of a plastic bottle and some elastic bands. It is a slightly sketchy looking ingredients, but I'm hoping it's actually going to do the job. My phone can then sit inside. That looks quite nice and snug. And so if it does hit the ground, it's actually not going to hit the ground. And it's obviously got a nice open space at the bottom here, so we'll get a lovely clear aerial view downwards. Fingers crossed. If you want to check out the blueprints, do pause the video. It's time to test this out. Hey, hey, hey. I certainly didn't hear it actually hit the ground. It's good enough for me. Unbelievably, it worked. So it's now time to fill the helium balloons and figure out just how many we need. One litre of helium can lift 1.03 grams. And a typical balloon will hold about 13 litres. So how heavy is the rig? It is about 210 grams. So pretending I haven't worked out already, that's at least 16 balloons. At least, just to be on the safe side. So it's now time for the fun bit. So each of the helium balloons is attached to some fishing line, which is really strong and lightweight. And all of them together are providing a huge amount of lift. So I think we're ready for the rig. So I'm pleased to say the balloons do seem to be taking the weight of the rig. And Joff here is very kindly holding it for me. And it's attached to my fishing pole here. And that's just gonna give me some control, letting it up and bringing it back down safely. I know this looks a little bit overboard for safety, but actually it'd be really irresponsible just to chuck it up there and hope nothing happens. But there are a few more pre-flight safety checks. So all the lines and knots have been double checked. The wind speed's not too strong. I've got my glove for safety in case I need to grab the line. We're at least five kilometers from any airfield and there's nothing overhead like overhead power lines. I think we're ready. Let's do it. Okay, it's the moment of truth. I've put the camera phone onto a time-lapse mode. So that's just gonna take a photo every 10 seconds or so and give me loads of options. So it doesn't matter so much that I can't frame it up. Just take it to there. Slowly feed it out. Tell you what, that is not bad. Oh, I can't wait to see what that looks like. All right. How's this for fishing? Well, the phone's still up there. The balloons haven't popped. The knots haven't broken. So far, so good, I think. Who knows what it's capturing? <laughs> That's kind of working. I literally can't wait to have a look, so I'm actually going to start reeling it in. The wind's just picked up a little bit. There's a very soft crosswind, and it's bringing the balloons just lower and lower down in the sky. And so every time I reel it in, it gets just sort of slightly dangerously close to some trees. If the balloons or the line catches in one of these trees, we lose the balloons, we lose the drone, and I certainly lose a bit of pride. Oh. <laughs> oh god! Oh no! Go up! Oh, I think we're okay. We're okay. Hey! It's one of the most exciting catches I've ever had. Oh, it feels like the moon landing or something. It's equally epic, I'm sure. It costs less than 50 pounds. <laughs> now, how did we do? Oh, <laughs> we're up in the sky. That's amazing. I'm really pleased with that. The concept totally works. 
That's fantastic, but I didn't really get that amazing shot of the Clifton suspension bridge that I wanted. And that's because it was pointing directly down at the ground and we were relying on the wind, which was going the wrong way. Uh, so I think I'm gonna have to change the rig. So this is my new rig. It's basically a simplified picave system, which means we've got a hanging loop of fishing line beneath our main line attached to the balloons. And that gives enough slack for this system to slide around and basically keep the horizon level the whole time. We've also gone for a GoPro this time, but your smartphone will work just as well. And if you want to see how to do it, here are the blueprints now. Moment of truth for the picave system. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I good fun this. Happily, the Pika Bay system seems to be working really well. It looks like the horizon is just perfectly level. It's right above the gorge, pointing towards the Clifton Suspension Bridge. I think we could be in for some really nice shots. So that's got to be the most fun fishing I've ever had. And I've got to say, it actually kind of worked as well. These photos came out much, much better than I thought they were going to. So if you've had any luck with this rig or a similar one, and you've done it safely and legally, do share them with us at Earth Capture. You'll find the link here, and we'll see you next time on Earth Unplugged. Hello and welcome to Earth Unplugged. Today I've been set a really brilliant cheap shot challenge to take a photograph of a fish using my smartphone for less than 20 pounds. A little bit closer. Let's give it a go. Cross your fingers. That is looking lovely. 